Hi, this is Matt with CustomCarGrills.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a first generation Scion TC upper grill insert. For this demonstration, we've removed the factory grill, though you can install these without removing the factory grill. The first thing you'll want to do is test the fit of the grill insert itself. You'll see that it usually fits with inside of the chrome trim outline. On the initial fit, the sides might not look perfect, but once we get it installed, they should fit flush. A common concern customers have is the appearance of the logo after installation. It's normal for some of it to be covered up. For installation, we include some small cable ties and some medium sized cable ties, as well as some wire. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the cable ties. Start by feeding the tail end of the tie through the back of the grill and send it forward. Then loop it around some of the material as well as a honeycomb part of the factory grill and then secure it from behind. With the factory grill still on the vehicle, you'll have a little less room to play with than what I have here, but it's still possible to do. We started doing the tying in the middle of the grill to ensure that the Scion logo cutout would be centered. Next, we're going to use the medium sized cable ties and work on the outside edge of the grill. We're simply just using the same steps as before, but with a larger tie. We're going to feed the tail end of the tie from the back towards the front, loop it around some of the mesh material as well as one of the honeycombs on the factory grill and tie it from behind. Initially, the top corners might not fit that well, but once you start drawing the cable tie in and tightening it up, the corners will come in closer and everything should be a good fit. For added support, we're going to add a couple ties in between the center and the outside of the grill. If you had any gaps in this area, putting the ties in between the center and the outside will help draw those gaps in as well. Once you've drawn the ties tight, you'll want to cut off the ends. This can simply be done using some wire cutters. Now we've completed the tough part of the installation. As you can see, it's still fitting with inside of the chrome outer trim and the corners are flush. Some of the logo will be covered up, more so on the top than on the sides. The bottom part should contour well to the bumper and show little to no chrome trim at all. There may be some very small gaps in between the rubber trim and the factory grill, but they should be minimal. Once you're satisfied with the placement of the grill insert, we can cover up the black cable ties by simply just marking over top of them with a silver marker. This is a very simple and effective method of hiding the installation, and it will look good both in this video and in person. Now we have a final installation of this grill. It's fully secured onto the factory grill, and the installation is concealed very well. As you can see in this video, some part of the chrome trim on the top will be visible, very little on the bottom, and parts of the logo will be covered. If you prefer a cleaner look around the logo, the rubber trim is removable. With the rubber trim removed, you do have exposed bare metal. You do run the risk of scratching or damaging your factory finish with the rubber trim removed. If you decide to use this method, I would suggest taping off part of your front end to not damage the front during installation. As you can see though, the logo looks a lot better in this setup. We carry these grills in both a perforated as well as diamond style. The previous version was a logo cutout and we do have one that covers up the logo as well. Make sure that you purchase the correct one. Each one is listed individually. In this video, we kept the factory silver logo intact, though you can remove it for a slightly cleaner look. The installation for this version of the grill is the same as if you had the logo cut out. You'll want to start towards the middle and work your way out. Also, we're going to start with the smaller ties for the center part and then use the larger ties on the outer areas. Included with these kits will also be the lower bumper piece. The installation of the lower piece 
is much easier than the top. It should fit in like a glove first time, every time, and it will install the same way as what you've seen here. Simply just use the ties starting from the center of the grill and work your way out. The top pieces are a little bit more difficult because there's more angles and it's a much tougher shape to deal with. Once you have all the ties fed through, just like on the other installation, simply just pull them tight and nip off the ends. Again, we're just using some basic wire cutters to do this. As with the other installation, you can simply conceal some of the ties by marking over top of them with a silver marker. And here's the finished product. Overall, it's a pretty quick and simple way to add a little style to your car. I hope you like what you saw, and if you have any questions about this video or any others, feel free to email me. Thanks.